send me reels, but there is no denying the phonic energies I sense within this vessel. Do not be afraid. She fights for us now. Hey what's up soldiers my name is Greg FPS the Zombies Extraordinaire and in this video I'm going to show you guys how to get some Mantha's music box this thing is completely OP so the first thing you need to do is get a rock that is going to be in the lighthouse approach which is basically this cave right next to the original call of the dead spawn if you guys remember that so once you get that rock it can be in three different locations you can't really miss it it's always going to be in that cave you're going to bring it up to the hermit and he's going to lower down a thing that you can place it on you just have to be directly in front of it you place it on there and now you need to go over to the boat and find two different wheels so the first one can be over here in the stern area and the first location can be in this room in the corner right there the next location can be leaning up against this building right here and the third one is going to be over here so i ended up getting it there and what you need to do is go up to the third level uh, right next to where you turn on power. So there's a power switch You just want to make your way all the way up to the top and there's going to be a place where you place the wheel Once you're on the third level you just place it and you hold square and it will turn and basically you're setting up the uh, Different zip lines so that you can get up to the facility area So once you're done that then you need to go to the back of the ship uh, Where like mule kick was in original call of the dead the first location of the wheel can be leaning up right there. As you can see, it was there in my game. Uh, the next location can be over here, leaning up against this like generator. And the third and final location that it can be is going to be over here. And this was next to one of the radios in original Call of the Dead. And it can be leaning up right there. So now you're going to make your way over to this one. You're going to place it on here. And once again, you're going to do the exact same thing. You're just going to spin it once again. So now... Once you're done that, you need to go back to the top of the lighthouse and the hermit is going to lower a handle and he'll always lower it for you and then you can just grab it and now you're going to be able to zip line all the way up to the facility. So you're just going to go over here and hold the action button and he's going to allow you or you'll be able to zip line up. So now we have to find two key cards and this is a little bit harder. So you're going to go in the room to the right. And there's three different locations. The first one can be in this like small machine thing. I don't really know what it is. The next one can be on the head of the shower where the water lands. And the third and final location for this first key card can be inside the sink. As you can see, I ended up getting it there. So then you're going to leave that room. And to the right, once again, there's another room. And there's going to be three different locations for this next key card. The first one can be here in the mailboxes. As you can see, I ended up getting one there. The next location can be sitting in the toilet. It's literally going to be in the toilet bowl. And the third and final location for this one, guys, is going to be next to the element 115 on the bottom shelf to the right-hand side. And those are all the locations for that. So once you do that, now you need to turn on power to the facility area. So what I end up doing is just going to turn on power and you just go to like the middle area you clear the debris and to the right hand side you're going to see the power switch and that is the third and final power switch besides the one in spawn so that's really really easy to do and now what you're going to need to do is go back to the room that you first came in so this is going to be the room as soon as you got to the top of the zip line there is a room there and you place both of those key cards that you obtained inside of the machine that is in that room so as you can see we're up in the room and you just place both key cards inside of here now it's going to take about five seconds per card and then it's going to spit them both out and you can just grab them so as you can see i'm going to grab them and now we're going to go back next to the power switch and to the left hand side there's going to be two different areas that you can place in those key cards that you just got and this is really, really simple. Once again, you're just placing the key card on one side, placing the key card on the other side, and then you're going to hold square on this small, like, area. As you can see, it's a vault. And basically, there's going to be a lockdown step. Now, I was playing custom mutations, so I had a lot of points, and I was only on round one. 
but it takes about a minute and it's a full lockdown you get stuck in there and it's really really simple so eventually it's gonna end and once you're done you're gonna get a quote from Nikolai and then once that quote from Nikolai is done you're gonna be able to grab the music box for Samantha so you can just grab it and then you can throw her down you have three uh, which is really really nice and you can also use equipment for it as well and if you guys didn't know if you need to pick up snowballs for any reason uh once you run out of snowballs you'll still have the original equipment that you have so anyways guys samantha is op it's really really fun to use i love using it and uh it's definitely really good i would assume for later rounds as well uh it's definitely going to be more strong than monkeys because it literally insta kills zombies in the general area so anyways guys thank you so much for watching more guides coming out very soon for you guys i'm trying as hard as i can to make as many guides as possible because i feel like a lot of people are having a little bit of trouble with this map figuring out how to do everything so my name is greg fps the zombies extraordinaire and i'll see you guys in the next one peace out